Hey everybody and welcome to Lex's World. Today I'm going to be doing a full maintenance as well as a bag change on a Volcano Vaporizer uh, solid valve set. So the first thing you want to do is you want to check your air filter. That's the first thing some people miss. Right here there's a twist off piece and right in there is the air filter. The air filter is the piece you gotta worry about least and uh, this one's still in good shape, it's not the original for this unit, uh, but eventually you will have to change it when it starts to turn kind of brownish and gross. Uh, this is the air in vent. So check that thing first. And then for extra points, you are going to be tightening up these screws uh, that are all around the volcano. And you're going to have to do this with a fairly specialized bit it looks like that and uh, you can find it at any hardware store it's just not a typical bit that comes standard with drills and you just go around and tighten all of these and this will stop your volcano from rumbling so loudly whenever it's inflating something so that should help so there's three screws around and that's all you really got to do as far as the main unit for occasional maintenance. And you know, blow out the air out here, or rather the dirt, and you're all done. By the way, if you're flipping over your unit, and right down here, uh, instead of seeing uh, a gr two gray tabs and a green tab, you see three gray tabs, you have a... Um, fake vaporizer on your hands, a counterfeit. As well, if these screws that we just worked on, if those screws are Phillips head or anything other than this weird bit, that's also a counterfeit volcano. So there you go, that's all you do with the volcano. The remainder of it is around changing the bag and uh, cleaning up all of the solid valve parts. So you'll know your bag is ready for a change when this area is kind of starting to get yellow inside the bag. Um, that's when it's time to change it out. For some of you that might be once every couple years and for some of you heavy uh, multi-times-a-day users you could be looking at once every three months. So the first thing you do is you take off the mouthpiece and you break it apart. It's got three pieces. And some of these pieces I'm going to be putting into this jar and some pieces are going to be going into this Ziploc bag. But I treat both the same. Some of these can be washed with water but I just wash everything with two ingredients. 99% isopropyl. Uh, you can use 70%. It's just a little bit less effective. As well as Epsom salt. By the way guys, everything I show you in terms of parts and equipment and all that, I'll try to link to in the description. So the first thing you're going to do is there's a nut right here at the bottom. You're going to disconnect that nut and you're also going to find a little spacer under there. You're going to take the spacer and the nut together and you're just going to toss them into your Ziploc bag. Now a lot of people will outright change their screens but what I found is if you wash the screens with something really good like ISO 99% your screens can actually be brought back to life as well. So I would still uh, wash your screens, try and get two or three rounds out of them and then change them because they're not that cheap. This is what a package of fresh screens looks like and if you get original equipment it'll also come with a spare nut and a spare spacer. So we've taken that apart. Next is this piece. So here there is one rubber band. You remove it and typically you don't need to clean it. Under here there is a blue rubber piece and you're going to need something to get it out. And this one, I actually uh, clean it as well. Now, then you can just pop out the screen at the bottom. And you throw that in to be cleaned as well. Now, 
There is an interior metal piece in here that can be twisted out, but for a lot of people they're stuck and you don't really need to clean in there unless you have some reason to. So I tend to keep this part all intact. And you know what, maybe today let's do everything just so you guys can see a little better. We'll do everything in the Ziploc. Then it's time to take this part apart. Put everything in, including this piece and that. This you can leave out, it tends to be clean. And then you're going to pour in the Epsom salt. I recommend at this point that you guys shake it a couple times, let it sit, then shake it a few times, and just keep doing that. You shouldn't have to keep at it for more than 15 minutes or so. So I'm just going to let this sit here, and uh, we'll check in on it in uh, about 15 minutes when I've let it sit and shaken it a couple times. Okay everybody, it's been about 15-20 minutes. You'll notice that your water starts to brown and or your isopropyl rather starts to brown and turns a real gross color. At this point you're going to take all the pieces out, rinse off each piece and then wipe it off if you're in a rush to put the thing back together. Okay everybody, now everything is washed, uh, rinsed the isopropyl off, got everything all uh, dried up, so now you got to put everything back together. Here's that metal piece that uh, once I cleaned everything, it came right out. Uh, I just wanted to show it to you guys so you know exactly what it looks like for future reference. set to uh, put your bag on and the bag is kind of nifty it comes in a box like this they come in uh, 20 foot rolls and your goal is to make sure that the bag that you cut out of the roll is just slightly longer than the bag that we could take these off see the one I cut out is just slightly longer than the one I'm taking off because you're going to lose a little bit of uh, length in the transition. Because then you're going to take the black rubber and feed it over top here and your bag will go with it. Now what a lot of 
people do with this part is they fold up the loose bag. Just make sure you get it. You have loose bag all around. as good as new. There you go. This is clean. This is clean. And your volcano is clean and maintained. That's how you do a maintenance and cleaning on the volcano guys. If you enjoyed it be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. And uh, maybe we'll do a more in-depth episode on how the spot counterfeits. Because uh, there are quite a few of those counterfeits on the market. On that note, guys, uh, we'll see you next time on Lex's World.